What's the um the fight that you would like to see Tank in? Me? Yeah. Tank, Tank, I would like to be honest, man. I'm one of them guys. I, I didn't really even want the Crawford and Spence like for a long, long, long time. Everybody was begging for a big. But I'm like, why y'all want to make these undefeated brothers, black brothers, fight? Like, look, it's it's, it's all these other people out here they could fight. Um, but y'all want to y'all want to hurry up and I ain't saying y'all, but just you know the typical fans and and some of these uh, ass backward promoters and managers and um, you know the, the gatekeepers of this game. They be wanting to. To, to put a, a, a one on the on their lost side of somebody. Well, you know what I'm saying? When they both can be rising and, and keeping their O's and keeping their stock as high as possible, they want to hurry up and, and shut somebody down. Yeah, we want to see matchups. You know what I'm saying? The Crawford and Spence um, would have been better later to me. You know what I'm saying? Or sooner. You know what I'm saying? Some people think that. but So I would love to see Shakur and Tank. But um, I just hate – I would hate the result. Uh, uh, of one one of them having a, uh, you know what I'm not having a loss on a record, and then everybody, the haters, you know, because this world is programmed by negativity. Everybody just shitting on the person with the loss, like they ain't just did all that they did for all these decades. You know I'm saying they've been fighting for decades now, and and they and they be trying to just uh, discredit and uh, take away everything great that a fighter did after one loss to a great fighter. So um, yeah, so. I, I, I would love to see Tank and Shakur fight, but um, yeah, I I, I would rather wait. You know what I'm saying to make it like a a May pack, and it can go that long too. It can go like towards the end of their career where they damn near ready to retire, and I'm still gonna want to see it because I'm a fan of the sport, and um, I would love to see them mature more and then um, work with the maturity that you know the skills that they have to work with to where it's like a um, it, it's less athletic and it's more um, you know what I'm saying. I I'd rather see one of them fights a brain fight instead of a, a you know a muscle and you know actually more, fight. more strategic mental. Yeah, I, got yeah. I, I would yeah. love to see that. Mm -hmm. So you are you like looking forward to like Tank fighting Loma? Uh, yeah, I'm a huge Loma fan too. I'm one of them people. I'm fans of everybody, man. I don't, I don't really got too much dislike for too many fighters. You know what I'm saying? Unless they just do something really really wrong, and um. They ain't fixing it or they don't listen to their coach, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm 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 a huge fan of Loma and um I, I'm probably the biggest Loma fan. Um probably I'm a huge Loma fan because he he got the skills to um do what he needs to do. He could still beat these younger guys, um, you know, if they make mistakes or um if he's a hundred percent not injured. So yeah, I would love to see um uh Tank and Loma. That, that's a that's a great fight. It, Loma and anybody's a great fight. Tank and anybody's a great fight. Shakur and anybody's a great fight. It's a whole bunch of great fighters in that division that that can make uh, any kind of fight. You know what I'm saying? Worthwhile, entertaining to me now. Like like the Shakur fight. Uh, was that last night or the night before? People were like complaining about it. They they saying they was booing and they talking all this shit and he ain't this, he ain't that. Man, I was entertained. You know what I'm saying? But I I, I got different eyes. Yeah, you look you. You, 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 Man, I wouldn't mind I like, taking a long saying. fight. It'd be great. Um, that'd be great. That'd be a real great fight. What do you think about uh, Tim Bradley's coffee uh, comment two times? <laughs> what did he say? While uh, <laughs> while 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 Shakur was uh, walking into the ring, he said, "I got my coffee." And then in the, oh, and then in the second round, he said yeah, it again. He yeah. poured out a cup of coffee. He actually poured with, a cup of coffee out. With Tim Bradley, I want to say that um, I hear. A a lot of disdain from him about fighters who know how to box. It's like almost like that he's mad. I'm just saying it's like I'm, not, I'm just saying for sure. This ain't me saying. It. I'm saying it's like he's um he's what's the word? I want, you could say hating, but he's kind of like salty that he don't have those skills or he didn't have those skills and he had to fight a different style of fighting that um. That's more exciting for the for the for the crowd for the fans, but um, you know you got to live with that stuff later on. You know, and he may not be able to know his grandkids' name, you know, versus the boring fights that he said watching. And Shakur might be able to, you know, Shakur might be sharp as a tack later on. So um, I I see it like that. I, I see it, and also we have to keep in mind that he works for the top rank. Is he? I was uh, waiting top, for it, GT. I was yeah. waiting for it. Top rank, is, top rank yeah. is, you know, when they when they when they get to um 
when it get close to exit time for fighters, you see you, is it's blatant. You can you can see it clearly that 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 they change the narrative. They they start um, uh, it's crazy, man. They There's start no hiding moving around in that one. Yeah, yeah they start no moving, hiding it. moving around fighters. That's a whole a whole show about that. But so he works for Bob, and Bob wants people to not. Bob wants no none of his fans, nobody tuning in to like Shakur at this moment. He wants his stock to drop as far as possible. Like it's some out of spite shit going on um, with 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 Bob or Top Rank as a company um, and Shakur. And uh, I think we may even have seen some some bullshit with the fight with the with the uh, Foster fight. We may even have seen some Top Rank bullshit with that because um, he's on his way out too, I believe. Right? I'm not sure. I think he oh, is he? one more fight, so he, you know. Yeah, one more he, fight. Yeah, wow. so it's it's right around the time, you know, and and they have an issue with that with fighters leaving. You know, you got Floyd had the same problem. You like to hold them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they um, you know, they they didn't want to let go of Floyd. They don't want to let go of who they want to, you know, they want to keep them, just like a record label, just like any other plantation um thing, you know, thing out here in the in the in the world. They trying to they try to keep. What they can keep as long as possible, and then when they leave, they they bitter. Why are you bitter? You you were just cool with him yesterday, but now that he wants to leave and go do something different, now it's a problem. Now now you um now he can't punch, and now you're gonna match him up with people he can't get up out of there, and people gonna survive. And it's just a whole lot of games. So anyway, Tim Bradley works for Bob, so he has to he's gonna say stuff like that um just to keep his job. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't want to lose his job. He have to go somewhere else, and then he's gonna he's the type of person he's gonna have to switch all the way around and start rooting for people that he was going against and talking bad about so um that that's far as i look at it man people they just doing their job i wouldn't do it i'm not about to sit here and kiss ass and 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 say i don't like this fighter over there because this because my boss want me to nah hell it don't go like that we men at the end of the day exactly we're supposed to be we supposed to be men you know what i'm saying but it's a lot of us out here that that's kissing ass and, and doing stuff for their bosses and um Man, you, man you, I hope they got a wife. You, I hope they got a wife at home. He sound they, like that's the way I think, man. That's crazy. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's. It was one thing when you know the last interview he did. They asked him about tanking. You know, he freely said, "Hey, that's a lot closer fight now." And I'm thinking in my head, in a couple more days, he might just switch his prediction all completely. You know, who hmm. Tim Bradley said that um, Tank and Shakur is a close fight. It's a way more closer fight now. And um, before, I don't know if you remember, he always used to say Shakur was the number. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, so that's, he said that's that though. The, that's whole perfect. time. That's perfect with the timing of Shakur making the exit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it lines up with what we just said, that he's working with this. He's just doing with his promoter, and they pushing the narrative that Shakur ain't exciting. He boring. Uh, he can't sell a fight. They saying all this negative shit, all this. And, but but with other with their other fighters, they keeping the hush if that's the truth, and then or they lying about the numbers. So yeah, we got to look at it for what it really is. But you know, everybody surface. You know what I'm saying you gotta go deeper in the surface with some of this shit. And um, yeah, so it is what it is. Well, it, it is what we know. It ain't what they say. Mm. You know, they say they also say that you know, some people say. Shakur has been um, perfectly matched. Some people say that they have put him in there with, you know, the best of the best. What do you think? And is he ready for Tank Davis? Um, yeah, I think they're both ready for each other, for sure. Um, they're the type of fighters that goes to, that can go to any gym and um, box guys from 120 up to 180, 190. And um and be able to handle themselves, you know, no matter what skill level the other guys are on. Like I had um tanking camp with me and A B for a couple weeks or a week and um uh I don't really approve of it, but Coach Mike allowed uh, Mike Stafford, rest in peace, our coach, our pops. Um he allowed um tank the box like a one seventy pound like that. And um yeah, he held his own and um anyway, yeah, them guys are ready for it. They, they got both of them got what it takes to be in the ring with the other for sure now 